Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Persona 4 Golden. Today, well, I was just jamming out to this music for a while. It's very nice. It's soothing. I wouldn't mind having this go in my background for like a while. Anyways, pretty sure this is the end of the secret little laboratory because there's no mini map. And that generally is how we determine, well, end. Maybe boss fight or like mid boss fight. But. How does it what the hell? Is that a drill? Ah, oh, it's about time you arrived. Did Did you make your shadow cry? That's kind of badass. Dealing with this child has been quite a pain. No! No, no, don't go. Um Okay. It's useless speaking with you. I need to go back now. Why are you leaving me here? Why am I always left alone? Okay. Um nice voice you have there. It's so lonely. I don't want to be alone. Not You wear the same face as me. It's as if you're implying we're one and the same. I mean, you you are. You really are. But the difference between me and you is... I mean, if you keep denying that, I'm gonna have to have a boss fight. Why delude yourself? Now, now he's just pissed. I am you. These childish gestures are no mere affectation. They're the truth. Well, look at me. I can use big words. The fools all say it, don't they? You're only a child. Keep out of our business, kid, and so forth. No matter how many cases you spend hours cogitating over, no matter how many crimes you solve, you're a child in their eyes. It's your brain they're interested in. The gray matter locked up in that skull. As long as they need it, you're an ace, detective. But once you're done, it's back to the playpen with you. You haven't the means to deal with society's two-faced nature. I mean, most people don't, actually. This is a, a, a shame. Lonely child. Naoto. I want to be a grown-up. I want to be a big boy right now. Then they'll see who I am. Is that supposed to be a little boy's voice before? Okay. So I, I mentioned this before, like, Nado sounds like he's a middle-aged woman. But... Then, like, his shadow is just, like, crying. And I'm like, man, that, that just really sounds like... Just like a teenage girl. But I, I guess it's supposed to be, like, a young boy's voice. I... I want a reason for me to stay. A very bad young boy's voice. That's enough. I can find my own reason for living. Like living? That's a good reason. <laughs> I'm telling you that's impossible. You are but a child. How can you change that essential truth? Stop it! At your core, you admire the sort of strong and cool men who populate detective fiction. But in trying to emulate them, you must know that in truth, you're nothing of the sort. You're a child. So wait, is your conflict just that you're young? Holy crap. Talk about first world problems. There's no avoiding first principles. Admit that you're a child and admit that there's nothing you can do about it. Now then, our analysis is complete. Let us begin the body alteration procedure. You have no objections, do you, Naoto Shiragane? Stop it! Naoto, such a cool, manly name. But a name doesn't change the truth. It doesn't let you cross the barrier between the sexes. Oh! Okay. Okay, that's more of a problem instead of just just you being young. That's why you sound like a freaking middle-aged woman. How could you become an ideal man 
when you were never male to begin with. Wait, what? Did he... Did I hear that right? Yeah, I guess, yeah. He's not a guy? <laughs> oh. <laughs> some reason I can just picture Kanji like wiping sweat off his head. I won't throw a tantrum. That accomplishes nothing. This is true. <laughs> How often I've heard those words from the adults. Throwing a tantrum won't solve anything, Naoto Kun and other such bilge. They made you cry, didn't they? Yet here you are, mimicking those same men. What exactly are you trying to justify? Also something you shouldn't do. If someone makes you feel bad and treats you like crap, don't mimic them. Don't think they're the right way. Don't bad. Bad fictional person I'm making up speaking to right now. What? Or Naoto. It's all right. You needn't suffer anymore. That's why you're undergoing this body alteration procedure to begin with. You throw a tantrum, but it fails to change the situation a single bit. I can... Oh, After all, shoot. Sorry. I am you. That's not true! Don't say it! I know, it's a boss time once you say it. It's okay. Let the kids spill the whole thing. I mean, it does kind of make everything better once they say it. We beat up their shadow, then they accept it. Unless you're the murderer, kid. If not, Naoto's just gonna keep hurting. We'll just do our job and kick the shadow's ass, yeah? Yeah! <laughs> As if you know anything about me! Like, we've tried to be friendly with you. We got kind of drunk with you, though. Apparently that wasn't alcohol at all. Placebo effect, I guess. You'll kick my ass, huh? Fine. Go ahead and try, you lizard-brained imbecile! Oh, Kanji. Don't take too much offense to that. Save the discussion for later. That seems darker than usual. Here it comes. Super fighting robots. Now to all right. So I I am a shadow. The true self. That's what I keep. I love the ray gun. What? Are you sick of yourselves too? Ah, it depends on the day, really. Very well. Then let's begin the special operation. I don't. I don't think you have operations with guns. Operation? I hate ouchies. Have you made up your mind? Then let us commence. Teddy, how do you know what an operation is? All right, anyways, uh, so Naruto's really female who wants to be male. Makes sense on the voice now. I mean, like before, the dude sounds, like I said, like a middle-aged woman. But like anime does that all the time. So it's like kind of hard to tell either way. But, but this is a good conflict. When did this game come out? Because some of these topics that have uh, been brought... Well, okay. Kanji's and uh, Nato. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, little... Well, dilemma, I guess you can say. it. Uh, generally... Not so much, Kanji. That's a while ago has been starting to get more accepted. Still kind of rocky roads in a lot of places. Uh, Naoto... Naoto's... I just had it. Um, that situation there, um, man, like, transgender community has been, like, kind of very rocky. Even to this day, it's still kind of rocky, but it's getting better. I'm just kind of surprised. I, I would have imagined this game came out a while ago, didn't it? I, I would have thought I would have heard about this a while ago. Came out July 10th, 2008. Yeah, I mean, this stuff wasn't exactly talked about that openly back in the day. It started to, it started to be talking openly about it, but at least where I lived, I didn't really hear too much about it until I uh, 
got out of college, which was around 2008. Anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, kick uh, Mr. Roboto's ass here. Or hopefully kick Mr. Roboto's ass here. Do you have any buff spells? You do. But so I did two power charges. Hopefully I hit them. Uh, we don't know anything about you, yeah? Yeah, obviously you're a boss. We've never fought you before. Have some fire! Resistant! God dang it! Oh, good job. God hand? <sighs> Arrow. What the hell? Dog. You got that ability, and you should be able to use it. Oh my god, Chie. So you just used ice, and you're resisting the fire. So have some ice. <laughs> See how that goes. Okay, you're not resistant to it. Well, damn. I mean, I'm kind of sad by the fact that Yukiko is kind of useless now, except for this diamond shield. Oh, you know, lightning too. Oh, god dang it. Alright. Well, do I just attack? I feel like powering up and then missing is very annoying to me. So I'm just gonna attack. Good job. You can have this too. I. Oh, good job. Teddy, get up. Thank you. All right, Teddy, you go ahead and buff everyone's stuff again. I'm pretty sure it was... No, it probably wouldn't have gone out. Okay, I didn't either remember that in the future. You... Heal. There! I thought you said bear for a second. I'm like, that's Teddy stick. You're gonna silence... You're really gonna silence me and drain my... What the hell? Well, at least you're taking a lot of damage from God Hand. Kind of makes sense. It's a very good move. Uh, just heal. I probably could have just, I don't know, used a healing item. But where's the fun in that? I have these abilities. I should use them. I don't know why I sound like a teacher or a parent right now. Wrong target! Here, have a god in. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, what did I say? You're just gonna. Just trying to give you the hands of God. And you're just like, no. You don't want him. It's annoying. I hate miss. I really do hate missing so much. Like, just it. Ugh. Just. It. Just pulls at every little bit of a, a like a string of annoyance in my body. No, no, that will never do. Patience must lie still for me to drill proper holes into them. Kinky, don't do it on her. No. Okay, good. Fencer, I could probably should use another one of those diamond shields. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Also, Chie, you need a better physical damaging ability. Yeah, let's go ahead and use one of those diamond shields. What's this do? Ooh, ooh, I got ten of those? It buffs hit! Everyone! I'm excited! No, okay, good. Stop trying to use everyone's weakness against them. That's... Well, smart, and that's what I normally try to do. But I don't like it when you do it, so stop it! I think we have one more turn of... Attack? Maybe. Let's... Kill... Because I want to win. 
Element Zero. You did you just take away my physical defense? I'm not happy about that. Do you take away your physical defense? That's what I really want to know, actually. Okay, you buff up. I might be doing this too much, but... Look, it's, it's working for me. I should really remove some of its defense. What was that? Galgaman eye? Oh, you son of a... You are a jackass. At least you did it on her, though. She goes last. Yeah, Rise, I'm getting to it, okay? This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go like, hey... Yukiko, stop being whatever the hell that is. Good job. Guess I could have healed... First... And then... Cause she could have healed her s No, she couldn't have. Cause she would have forgotten. Never mind. Brain power, everyone. Why won't you lie down and die? You children can't do anything at all. We are literally kicking your ass. I mean, not literally. I'm not even sure if you have a mechanical ass there, but okay? we're kicking something. Excuse me, but that's rude. What you just did, and I'm pretty sure I have something to stop that. Maybe I don't. I thought I did. No. Don't I have the something like that? I thought I did. Maybe I don't. Well, here's God's hand. Oh, you took away my attack buff! That's rude! Oh wow, that... Maybe you buffed yourself, because that's a pretty big... difference there. Well, that's fine. I didn't need to do that, did I? That's fine, that's fine, fine. I thought I had a skill. Maybe it was on a different persona. Can you stop doing that? Because I kind of need you to not do that. Do not, whatever that, do not do that. Is it? Okay. So. It's buffed. We're debuffed with the build hate. You keep saying that. I noticed. Thank you. I don't think there's any way for me to, like, uh, stop that, though. You know what? Yeah. Wait, no! I already have that on the party! Don't I? Maybe. Just attack. That's good enough. You, on the other hand, I guess you heal. You gonna do that again? You gonna is that lowering all my stats? How do I check that? I don't know. I can check that. All right, have God's hand. You missed. The hell? <laughs> you don't miss? Oh, oh. Where's that other item, for God's sakes? I mean, I think I probably should use that. I'm gonna use Supersonic instead. Then I'm gonna heal again. Probably buffed my attack, like, 
four times more than I really should have. Can you not use that ability, please? Yukiko is very sensitive to ice. Oh, I want that ability. That'd be nice. Anyways. Oh, okay. Uh, where's my purifying bullcrap? I had it a second ago. I don't want you to evade my stuff anymore. There. Goodbye. This robot has been cleansed. Miss. Thank you. Much better. Your attack reverted. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, you're you were debilitated, right? Okay. I remember now. Can you kill it, Teddy? You cannot. Well, how about this then? These are all very low. Non-elemental damage. Here you go. Smart bomb. Oh! Killed you with the smarts. That's decent money, I guess. Good job. Oh, you learned gigantic fist. Teddy. It's not that kind of group, man. Being said, though, you're not my attacker, and I don't really want to get rid of anything for that. So goodbye, Gigantic Fist. See, that, on the other hand, would be dope to have. So, Nauta-kun was a girl. <sighs> Are you awake? Where am I? I remember you all arriving. And that's right. You saw everything. And this is even like you should hear some of the other crap we've seen. You want me to tell you about Kanji's? I lost both my parents in an accident. I was still young, so my grandfather took me in. I was inept at making friends. Relatable. I spent my time reading detective novels in my grandfather's study. When I grow up, I'm gonna be an awesome hard-boiled detective. I had hard-boiled eggs in a while. My parents were proud of their job. I had no qualms about following in their footsteps. An inherited occupation can feel stifling to many. You can go. But I welcomed it. I yearned for the day I could be a detective myself. Perhaps I inherited that desire from them as well. I was always alone. Seeing that, my grandfather must have believed it was his duty to help me realize my dream. I secretly aided my grandfather with his clients. And before I knew it, people started calling me junior detective. That seems highly illegal. Like, also, like, just, like, immoral, too, for, like, their, the clients, like, is that the word I'm looking for here? I don't know. It's like, what about all the details of the clients? That's bad. At first, I was delighted, but not everything went so smoothly. What was that you said about you're only a child? Not everyone welcomes my collaboration when it comes to solving cases. My status as a child was sufficient to offend many of those whom I worked with. Screw them. Were that the only issue, then it would have resolved itself with time. But though I will one day change from a child to an adult, I will never change from a woman to a man. Do you not like being a girl? Is that why you always dress like a boy? My sex doesn't fit my ideal image of a detective. Besides, the police department is a male-oriented society. If they had the slightest concrete reason to look down on me, 
No one would need me anymore. Hmm. You don't know that. Hey. You must know already that what you yearn for isn't to become an adult or become a boy. <sighs> You're absolutely right. I'm sorry. I kept ignoring you, pretending you didn't exist. Sorry about the quiet there. I, uh, unfortunately was getting interrupted by something outside my house. Uh, but... Now, this is, like, an interesting topic. Definitely for a video game. And it's hard to address, too, without coming off as... Like, an asshole a little bit sometimes. But... So, Naruto... Wants to be... Well, wanted to be a boy. I'm not... The way they just said it made it pretend, made it sound like she didn't want to be a... Man anymore or something like that. It was kind of weird. I'm sure that'll be fleshed out in a second. But... She wanted to be a boy because she felt that it being female didn't suit her detective persona and that the the police workforce wouldn't accept her because she's female. Does, do Japan, does Japan not have female officers or detectives? Because that seems... I'm pretty sure I've seen a Japanese female police officer before. But that's... or I mean, maybe not detective, I don't know. But, you know, I mean, it's not a... It's not a uncommon thing where some lines of profession are very highly male-dominated and can be... What's the word I'm looking for? Exclusive? Or... They, they exclude someone based off their gender, pretty much. That's not that shocking to hear. But I would have rather imagine if... A female, a, a little girl looking up and like, I'm going to be the first female or first famous female detective or something like that. But instead, she's going the, I want to be a boy route, which I guess can make some sense. It, it, but it's not like she was born feeling like a man. She grew into it. I don't know. It's hard to comment on. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I guess let's keep but going. You are me, and I am you. You've always been inside me. What I should yearn for, no, what I must strive for, isn't to become a man. It's to accept myself for who I really am. That that's true. You should accept yourself for who you really are. That can also lead into... Is that a little... What the hell is that? No, what, what the hell was that? Bring that back. Was that like a little fairy thing with a lance? What I was going to say is finding out who you are and accepting that is important, but you're not always sure who you are. <laughs> things change <laughs> and things can be muddled. Uh, she obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardship, the persona Sukuna, uh, Sukuna Hikona. Akuna Matata. It's a fairy with the lance. In any event, you're a devious bunch. I can't believe you kept something like this hidden for so long. We literally told you. <laughs> no wonder the perpetrator has eluded the police. But it's apparent now. This case is far from over. That's right. And you proved it, Naoto. Anyways, we can talk more later. We need to get you out of here. <laughs> hey, that's the wrong TV. Hey! Uh, Naoto is breathing heavily. Sheesh. She really put her life on the line for this. But without her efforts, we'd never have realized that the culprit is still at large. I mean, it was kind of obvious. Damn it. I never doubted that you'd all come for me. You really should have. I almost didn't because I was trying to hang out with people, but then they were like, you can't hang out with your party until you finish investigating. So here I am. 
Although the reality turned out to be far beyond what I'd imagined. <laughs> what a dumbass. You're no genius at all. <laughs> we were tearing our hair out over you. Well, no, you were. So you did worry about her, Kanji. Oh. Shut up. M mind your own damn business. I'll take her home. I don't think she can go back by herself. I mean, so like straight up. If she's fine with her well, her being female now, that's cool. But doesn't everyone think she's a he? Should we keep it that way? Like, maybe that's going to be part of her accepting who she is by just going ahead and confessing to everyone that she wasn't a guy. But I feel like right. we should probably let him do that on herself or on our own. Instead of just literally calling her or her or Missy at every opportunity we are presented with. Come on, let's go. Grab on. Do you want a piggyback ride? I hammer good with those. Uh boarded up lab. Like it. Hey! Welcome back. Yo, dog, what up? Sorry, we got off early today. So Adachi decided to get drunk at our house? Come on, take a seat. Do you see this pop collar? It means business. They found Naoto-kun. Oh, uh, do you know who Naoto-kun is? Do you know who the Muffin Man is? He just up and vanished without a word. But it looks like he's back now. You're welcome. Way to put a scare into everyone. I'm relieved. Hmm. You don't seem surprised. Well, no. When you go into a TV land and pull her out, pull him out. Excuse me. Now it's a him. Don't tell the police force. You didn't already know he was found, did you? Ah, uh, you really ought to do something about that habit of yours, Dojima-san. Yeah, you know, the habit of jumping down people's throats and being very freaking, well, kind of a jerk to me. They go to the same school. Rumors spread fast out here, you know? You know it's Sunday, right, Adachi? But man, why did Naoto-kun disappear? I guess he can be a little difficult. Maybe he got sulky after being given the boot and ran away from home. But I tell you, I was shocked to hear that he up and vanished like that. If there'd been a fourth kidnapping and murder, we'd be back to square one again. Adachi. <laughs> you know what sucks? We still don't have proof that the Kubo kid murdered anyone besides Mr. Moraoka. How are we going to make a case like this? Well, you still have a case of him murdering the dude. That's a case. You can add on to it later. I wonder if Dojima-san's instinct is right. Well, then again, I mean, he didn't actually do it, so it's can't really add on to it, but just prosecute him. Adachi, how many times I gotta say it? Quit running your mouth like that. Well, sorry. All right, see here. Don't worry about the case. Just go study like a normal student. Hey, I am a literal genius. If you don't... <sighs> I'm going to bed. Good. I'm tired of doing your job. And raising your daughter. Sorry. I killed the mood there. But yeah, I can totally understand why Dojima-san's worried. Just leave the case to us police. You know the problems it could cause if something happened, right? Like, if it happened you were mixed up in it. We'd be real worried. Are more scary things gonna happen? Well, it is almost October, so maybe. No way, Nanako-chan. Everything's all right now. We caught the bad man, so no more scary things will happen, right? Everything's just fine. Okay. Anyways, your dad's just a worry ward. Leave it to me. 
You might not know to look at me, but I got the most brains in the whole police department. That explains so much. Oh, was that too hard to understand? Did you get it? Well, now that Dojima-san's gone, I should get going too. Good night. Sounds good. See ya. You're not driving, are you? I was actually just about to ask where your shoes were, and I forgot we were in Japan. What does got brains mean? Uh, he means he's smart. <laughs> Don't worry about it, he's not an athlete. No, he, he's trying to say that he's smart. Huh. So things will be alright? Oh god, no. Uh, you should fear for our lives, all of us. You guys should get, like, a Nintendo here. Or, what year? It was 2008, right? Get a PlayStation. A PlayStation 2! Would you like to save your progress? Sure. Let's see, we'll save right here. And say, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you head to my video section, check out some of the content and see if it's you're liking. If you're interested in watching me live stream, head on to twitch.tv slash chronosplays. Give my channel a follow to be notified when I go live. Either way, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day.